Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a couple of weeks ago I was shopping at Goodwill and I found this really neat furniture piece. This is a white clad Simmons and Company. I guess you would call this like an island on wheels. You can roll it around. It has a little towel rack over here, drawers, a cutting board. It's super cute and I envision this thing with white chalk paint, distressed. So today we are going to be giving this thing a complete makeover and I'm going to show you guys the whole process. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see how it turned out and the ultimate goal at the end of this is to sell this piece and hopefully make some money off of it I forgot to tell you guys what I paid for it I only paid $24.99 for it at Goodwill so I know that I can definitely make a profit off of it let's get right into this video I've been putting this off for a while because I know it's gonna be a big job but um, let's just get started So the first thing that I did was to take a slightly damp cloth and wipe down the whole piece just to get off any dirt or dust that might be on it and then I took a dry cloth and wiped it down after that and then I took out the drawer and the doors off of the piece. take a quick break to put this little guy down for a nap and then after that it was time to start painting I'm using rust-oleum linen white chalk paint and yes I am wearing my husband's old t-shirt to paint in and yes I am stirring the paint with a big plastic spoon because I was all out of the paint stir sticks and I had this old spoon that I had used to stir paint before so yeah that's what I used and I'm just using a paintbrush to paint it on I know that it's probably the best thing to use a small roller if you have one but I didn't have one we live an hour from town I wasn't gonna be back in town for a while so I just made the paintbrush do and honestly I have so many people ask me if it leaves paintbrush lines and with chalk paint I honestly don't see that many paintbrush lines I think that it does a pretty good job
before I started painting the doors and the drawer I took all of the hardware off and I wanted to spray paint this hardware black and so I just laid it all out onto a garbage bag and I forgot to film this part so I'll just tell you guys what I did. I laid it all out on a garbage bag and then I spray painted it with the black paint and you have to make sure that you use a black spray paint that says that it's for metal and wood. After that first coat of paint had dried, it was time to apply a second coat and I like to put my paint brushes in a plastic bag. I just kind of wrap them up in it or you could just wrap the ends with plastic wrap just to keep the paintbrush wet so that it doesn't dry out while you're waiting for your piece to dry. Once everything is dry, then I put all of the hardware back onto the doors and the drawer, and then I put the door and drawer back onto the piece. The last thing that I did was to take some sandpaper and distress the piece. This is optional, but I just love the distressed look. And so now that it's done, here is one last look at what it looked like before. And now here is what it looks like afterwards. I love how it turned out. So not only would this be a cute kitchen island, but it would also make a really neat coffee bar. So I set some of my coffee stuff on there just to show what it would look like. You could keep all of your coffee and teas in that drawer. And that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you like how this piece turned out, then be sure and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button to get notified every time that I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!